everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day so far. Uh, in this video, I am going to kind of ramble a little bit. And I think that I'm going to start doing that on maybe every other Tuesday. Um, I'll go over like maybe a cup that I came across or a cup that I received um, or just something menstrual related uh, or menstrual kind of related uh, that pertains to my life. So like in this video, I would like to welcome you to my new video room. My husband had cleared out one of the extra rooms in the house and uh, put all of my video equipment in here, all of my uh, photo equipment, uh, because I do other reviews besides just menstrual cups, and um, all of my menstrual paraphernalia and all the other tools that I would need. So in my paraphernalia, there are uh, the packaging that I received with a cup, sometimes the envelopes or the boxes that they were shipped in. Uh, I like to hang on to some of those because they are from different places in the world that I probably will never be able to visit. So like uh, Slovenia, my package uh, from the Lolly Cup Company, um, from Russia, that was my tulip cup, uh, from India, which was my um, silky cup. So some of those kinds of things I like to keep. They're just kind of uh, like traveling, but not really. Um, and then all the boxes or bags that uh, our menstrual cups arrive in, um, the pamphlets, leaflets, uh, brochures, anything that is shipped with the cup. Um, their bags, the pouches, because I don't normally keep my cups in their bags. Um, I did used to have them in a box and, a, and then I'd have had them in a plastic bin um, and then just a regular grocery bag and they were just kind of, you know, moved around to different places of the house that I was filming in or um, taking pictures of them at the time. So it was just convenient. Uh, to have them in some, all of them in one item. But now that I have a filming room, they can stay on the shelf and when I need to take pictures, I have a photo, a photo box or a light box uh, on this side. Uh, this room was really small. Um, I think it was used as a nursery. Uh, there were some like nursery decors, like the light switch had a bear on it. Um, and there was some other colors of paint in here. So he, he totally wiped the room and um, tried to make everything white in here except for that uh, back blue wall because I like blues. Um, so it is just some place that I can have everything and within my reach, uh, everything that I would need to take to take videos or to use in my videos or to take pictures with. Um, is all here at easy reach one place. Um, I am still trying to figure out the lighting in this room. I do have a large window, or not very, very large, but a larger window right here to my um, right side. But the sun doesn't shine into this room very much because I have an easement, um, or not an easement, but an awning right outside uh, overhanging that window. So not a whole bunch of light comes in here and I also live in Washington State which is raining or gloomy most of the time. So the clouds make a nice filter but then there's not enough sun to actually penetrate those clouds so I still don't get a lot of good lighting. Um, I have a lot, a lot of lights now. My husband actually bought me a light uh, studio set but I don't really know how to control my camera um, and set all of the the settings for it so I'm not exactly sure what's going on but this video is probably going to be a little bit dark and I'll have to go on to an editing program to um, lighten it up a little bit and that is kind of why my videos have been always a little bit grainy is because I really don't know how to use any of this equipment. I just kind of jumped into this and um, uh, 
didn't really learn how to use whatever I was using to take photos or video with. Um, let's see, I have used my cell phone, a couple different cell phones to take a lot of photos and some of the videos. And then for the most part, I was using an old 2013 Samsung Galaxy Note tablet to take uh, my straight on uh, videos with. And um, that, oh, that, well, that had a bad camera anyway. It was the front facing camera that I was using. Um, and right now I'm using a GoPro Hero Silver and it's an awesome camera, but I'm going to probably return it tonight um, because I had found out that there were some um, things wrong with the mic on it. Uh, or not so much the mic, but uh, when you turn on the Bluetooth or the wireless on this um, camera, you get this like helicopter clicking sound or pounding sound and and um, I tried to video last night and I used my external mic and my phone to control the camera and because my phone is connected or is Bluetooth with the camera it was doing that sound so I got rid of all of my footage for last night which was supposed to be my video for Thursday. Uh, so I am returning this camera and uh, my friend works at Best Buy so I had texted him and I said you know can I just return it to Best Buy are they going to give me problems or do I have to actually go through GoPro and he said well I would actually return it and wait because the next edition of the GoPro Hero is coming out on the 2nd. Well, then, I wish somebody had told me that when I was purchasing this camera. <laughs> I would have waited. It's like 50 bucks more. Um, it has, it's supposed to have a way better external mic. It has like three external mic holes. Um, and right now, I'm, I'm sorry, not external, but it has a stock mic. And right now I'm using an external mic. It's a lapel a lavalier. Um, I n don't like to clip it to me because I'll move around and I'll hit it and I'm already like brushing my hair and getting it stuck on my ring and stuff so it's just less for me to have to get tangled in. Uh, so anyhow that other camera is um, it's supposed to have really good audio and I shouldn't have to have a, an external mic and also it's voice activated and um, right now or well not right now because I didn't want that helicopter sound going but um, I was using my cell phone to control the camera and to turn it off and turn it on and uh, make it make it start recording and whatnot uh, it's either that or I'm always you know reaching over trying to control my camera so I looked at the remotes for this camera and they were 80 bucks and I wasn't going to spend that much uh, I've only had this camera since like not not even 15 days because he said I still had time to return it. <laughs> so um, uh, I just, I don't want to have to deal with the mic issues but and, and the remote issues. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and return this camera and get the Hero Go, uh, GoPro Hero 5 and hopefully that's uh, better. Uh, hopefully I get a better uh, picture too. It's ho hopefully it's not so grainy. Um, so, yeah, so Tuesdays, uh, every other Tuesday, I think I'm just going to kind of ramble a little bit and you can listen if you want to and you can pass these videos up if you don't. But I'll have some other um, news in it, uh, you know, like I said, cups, if I came across a new cup or if I received a new cup, not totally an unboxing, just kind of a preview of you know, that cup um, just to show you or, or present it to you so uh, that you can look it up if you never heard of it. Um, and my room is really tiny. I know I already said that. And I'll just, I'll take my camera off the tripod and kind of uh, show you what it looks like. But we had no plans with this room. It ended up being um, basically a storage room and 
a, a guest room. Um, and until we build a garage, my husband has the other extra room in the house, which is kind of, uh, it is a lot bigger than this. And uh, when we build a garage, I'll probably move into that if I'm, uh, well, hopefully I'm still making these videos because like I said, I also do um, videos other than with cups. So these Tuesday videos, also I'm going to have to warn you that uh, I, I'm just going to be like fidgeting and looking around and not very, um, not following any kind of a format. Not that I really follow a format with my other videos, but I guess this one is going to be a little bit more raw. Um, like I'm slouching. I don't normally slouch. <laughs> Anyhow, um, Give me a thumbs up if you think that might be a good idea or if I, you wouldn't mind listening to me uh, ramble on. Uh, it, it's a place that you can just ask random questions. It's a place that I can randomly uh, tell you my thoughts about what's going on and whatnot. Um, so leave me a comment down below if you have any uh, random question for me uh, that I could cover. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and take my camera off the tripod and uh, give you a quick turnaround of this tiny room. So here's my new filming room. It's one of the three rooms on this side of the house. Uh, it's not completely done. I still have paint cans and uh, some paint pans and I haven't like cleaned up any of those shelves um, but all of my tools and GoPro stuff and pens I love Sharpies so I have a crap load of Sharpies um, I have more Sharpies in my other rooms too but uh, here is like like all of my different pouches that come with all the different cups and all of the papers and whatnot that come with them. Here are all of my boxes and I'm sorry that I'm filming in this odd um, angle here but I do have my photo light box in front of that and I'm cheap so I built this one out of um, just foam poster board and uh, one of the lights is on that side and then a garage sale light on this side and my camera. So I turned it on and it um, cre creates some light in this area and uh, it doesn't have like harsh lines or shadows when I'm taking photos. And I had another one, but it was made out of a box that I got from the dollar store and it started to fall apart. So I have some table space and um, I haven't really cleaned that up yet. And there's my monitor that is hooked up when I am filming and my tripod and my lights. Uh, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out the lighting and I have so many lights in here as you can see, um, but the lighting was still really dark. So I think it has to do with the settings on the camera and uh, the window that doesn't really cast a whole bunch of light. You can see on the floor that there's not a whole bunch of a good light coming in and then um, my Hoya this is called a Hoya I love this plant because it has velvety flowers that bloom and I will take a picture when this blooms hopefully it will bloom because it's already ugly and cold out here and it needs um, humidity and there's Kim she has her own spot um, here are my cups on the shelf that my husband built for me. Uh, my daughter has some other cups and then I also have some cups in my bathroom. And my husband bought me these. They actually light up. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have them on during uh, when I'm filming. So that's about it. I mean, this room is teeny tiny. Um, that's my hallway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back on its tripod. The wireless is now on. I wonder if 
you're going to be able to hear that helicopter sound. I'm going to be quiet for a second so that you can hear. It's very irritating. Uh, so I am going to return this tonight. So that was my Tuesday of random ramblings. Um, and I guess I will see you on Thursday when I upload my for real video. <laughs> so until I see you next time, take care.